The one and only Elton John is joining us. We love you. The new album, The Lockdown Sessions, is out now. Uh, did you ever think uh, such a shy uh, child would end up being uh, you, Elton John? <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Never in a million years could I have expected what's happened to me in my lifetime, Jimmy. <laughs> really? um, the fact that I was a, a child uh, and I was a very sh a shy child um, when I started playing the piano, and it's all down to Jerry Lee Lewis and Little Richard, when they started jumping up and down and playing it, standing up, yeah. then that changed my whole life completely. And uh, that's what I wanted to do, and I wanted to make music. I didn't ever intend to become Elton John. I just wanted to be involved in music and play it, and and uh, I got gratification from that and and love from doing that. Yeah. And so I thought, yeah, this is I like this. Yeah, we well, you you did it better than most people. Uh, I want to say your your farewell Yellow Brick Road tour. Uh, I was ready to go to go see you because this is your farewell tour. It got cut short because of. Uh, pandemic and also maybe a sign that we don't want you to say farewell. <laughs> we, we, we want you I to just keep going. <laughs> don't stop! But you, well, you're coming we, back. We, we, yeah, I'm coming back to New Orleans in January. Um, I've just had my hip replaced on the right leg. Um, and so I'm rehabbing in London at the moment and, uh, and it's all going well and I just wanted to make sure that I could actually get through the whole tour because before the operation I don't think I would have been able to. So we pushed some dates back and I start again in New Orleans, and I cannot wait because we were hit, we were roaring like an express train, and yeah. then of course COVID hit, and everyone was just ground to a halt. But um, uh, I, I did a concert um, in Paris recently um, uh, in front of 20,000 people, and I haven't played a concert in front of that kind of crowd since March the 7th, 2020, and it felt really good. And, and you know, I love my fans, and I want to go out and give them the best thing possible, and you know. I can't wait. Yeah, I, I, for a lot of people, this will be their first concert back. I mean, if you go to eltonjohn.com, if you want to see Elton, you're coming to New York February 22nd, 23rd at the Garden, Madison Square Garden. You're also playing Barclays Center in, in March, but Madison Square Garden and Elton John go together like, uh, uh, like peanut butter and jelly. I mean, uh, it is the, it's the greatest combination. We, we, the New Yorkers love you. Well, you know... I have to say, New York is, Madison Square Garden in particular, is the finest place to play in the world. I mean, you get really excited. You never lose the excitement of going backstage and playing to that crowd. Um, I've done so many memorable concerts there. I played my 60th birthday concert there, uh, the concert for 9 11. Yeah. Um, and um, you yeah. know, there's something about that New York crowd that's just quite astonishing. And I've never, never done a show at Madison Square Garden where I didn't think, it didn't do well and uh you know it's a magic place i'm so glad they never moved it because if they'd have moved it the atmosphere would have gone it's just a magic place yeah the and house it's great that it's bones, in new york yeah it's great in new york because new york's a magic place and you've got the best show in the world right on top of you i i want to ask you i've always uh, wanted to ask you this story about uh because i've always heard this story but about john lennon uh performing with you at the garden uh he this is post beatles i think Actually, it might have been the last time he's, he played live. Uh, but it you, was. Uh, you, you, had a, you had a bet with, with John. Yeah, well, I played on John's record, Whatever Gets You Through the Night, and sang on it, too. And I said, OK, if this record gets to number one, you've got to come on play live with him. He said, OK, you're on. <laughs> and by Jove, it did get to number one. And then he had to keep his promise, which he did, at Madison Square Garden in Thanksgiving. Um, and it was one of the most magical moments of my life. Probably, for me, um, the memory of him coming on stage and getting so much applause. I think all the band, myself, were moved to tears. And it was such a wonderful occasion. I don't think he'd played in New York since the Beatles at Shea Stadium. Yeah. Um, and I just, you know, it was just a, one, a, a magical moment in, in, in one's life to see someone so loved getting that so much acclaim. And, you know, I had such a great time with John for two years. Um, and it, it, it's, it's one of the highlights of my life and my career. Uh, I, I can't wait to see you when you come back around. Uh, I will be screaming from the uh, crowd. Uh, I love you. Elton John, everybody. The Lockdown Sessions is available now. Hey.